All right, so we're back with Leonardo's filmography and we're starting off with a film I don't care about, if I'm being honest, called The Man Iron Mask. I was already bored in like the first 10 minutes because anytime media or fiction goes into the realm of the early 17th, 18th century and the whole wigs and nice dresses and all that stuff and King Louis or Louis or whatever, the 13th, 14th or 15th, I check out. I'm not interested in that. I get bored. Same thing with history. Dean DiCaprio dressed in, did he have a wig? I forgot. I think he had a wig. He's dressed nice. Nicely. This is one year after the Titanic. The plot of this movie is essentially someone very important dies. DiCaprio's kind of around it. He sees a girl that he likes. He thinks it's pretty. He gets with this girl. Has sex with this girl. Family drama clashing. By the end, him and his, I'm assuming mother or grandmother or someone, is saddened by the death of their loss of someone that I don't know about. And yeah, that's all I remember. That's all I wrote in my notes. I wrote King Louis 15, DiCaprio likes girl, a death, and sad in, I guess. That's what I wrote. Yeah, you know, it's a movie I don't care about. Again, I think I said this for cage if i am gonna do this there's gonna be some movies that i just do not give a fuck about really forcing myself to do this but it's also a way for me to experience filmographies and new movies from actors and filmmakers and so there's just gonna be some cases like this where it's not for me this movie is just isn't for me i'm sure it is well shot and directed and all that stuff from a technical standpoint it still holds up it's still good in that aspect but the characters the setting all of that shit you lost me i don't really care i almost wanted to sleep right away as well but i was like no i I can't do this like James Bond or whenever I did those videos. I need to actually watch this all the way through. I did. I got nothing out of it really. Blood Diamond. Now this movie is much more interesting, but I do find it funny that DiCaprio's the least interesting part about this movie. I found the character named Solomon, his character, his role, his mission to get out of this enslaved and illegal kind of diamond trade. I found that way more interesting than Leonardo himself. He's kind of misplaced, kind of out there, kind of like, what are you doing here, man? And then especially his like plot thread with Jennifer Connelly. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I felt like this romance thing. It's like, I don't care about you guys. Go back to Solomon and his role and his part because he has a family wants to fight for and wants to get out of this and that was way more interesting and just more better to watch now i don't know if this is a true story i'm assuming it is because at the end of the movie it says that people are still doing these things or whatever or something like that so i'm gonna assume that this is a true story of like illegal trades still happening throughout the whole world i could be completely wrong diamonds are a big thing in this movie people from somewhere i forgot the country anyways not in the u.s somewhere else they're forcing people to dig these diamonds trade them off illegally the story with solomon is that he has a family he wants to get back to his family and just doesn't want any part of this and so throughout the whole movie this actor don't know his name but he's acting his ass off fighting his way out of this whole mess and then meanwhile dicaprio is out here living life a part of this whole thing he's like the most boring part about this movie even at the end where he dies it's like i really feel nothing because he's kind of there but his scenes with solomon were great like that shot of them walking down that road and it's panning i think in or out that was actually really good and the arguments and maybe it is arguments but again him just wanting to get back to his family while DiCaprio's there for reasons I forgot about I'm assuming diamonds and so throughout the whole movie you're kind of rooting for Solomon to get out and he eventually does DiCaprio sacrifices himself for this cause in order to get him to meet Jennifer then he's able to go into the UN some were very important, but it's there that he's able to tell his story and let people know what happens and why these illegal trades are happening. The movie ends on a very good note, very satisfying note where Solomon, he's obviously much more happier now that he has his freedom. And it ends with the quote of, these things are still happening, which again, I should probably look up if this is a real life thing. It could actually happen. Like, so yeah, overall though, I still think the movie's okay. I think the movie would have been better if the cabaret wasn't in it. He felt out of place. He felt like another character from another movie. He just didn't work for me, honestly. And so whenever it cut back to him, it's like, I I don't know man this it feels weird it just doesn't work but if you want to see a really good performance by solomon it's not the actor's name i need a i should probably put up the actor's name but he's actually very good in this movie it's captivating it's interesting throughout the whole movie kind of want to see him but you gotta cut back and forth with dicaprio and jennifer and all that stuff but yeah blood diamond is okay Body of Lies. I found this movie to be another very boring movie, but very interesting thing is that this movie was directed by Ridley Scott. And my question is, how the hell did he direct this? Because it's not all that interesting. It felt like another VOD straight to video, just kind of action flick. I got nothing out of it. And you know what? Maybe action just isn't my genre because in the past I've said that rom-coms are like romance films, but I don't know. Doing Scorsese, DiCaprio, and Cage, I seem to like romance a lot more than I should. And then action just seems to keep going down and down. 
unless it's like a very fun premise or a kind of niche thing i'm not really interested in action flicks maybe it's action and not rom-coms or romance or straight up i don't remember this movie he's a cia agent there's a uh, monitors and computers and people are after people because of cia bullshit what happens hold on after one google search turns out that he's after a terrorist wants to stop him from doing all these things i only remember the cia stuff and really bland action stuff but he's an agent going after this guy and so within this chase things happen i'm sure here's also another thing that i should probably stop doing i've watched this movie like three weeks ago and i forgot about it i should probably stop doing that but i'm not gonna stop doing that because i'm a dumbass but that's my excuse movie's okay it's not really for me maybe action flicks is not my thing as i'm starting to realize that got nothing out of it to me this felt like another generic okay action flick from a director that's good i'm not saying that really this guy's a boring filmmaker or even bad it's just this movie i don't know didn't really care for it and the final movie, Inception. And I already did a video about this and kind of beta test of filmographies with Nolan. But back then I was like, I'm gonna recap the plot because I want to get to that eight minute to 10 minute mark for ad. That video is much longer than it should be. I've just stopped doing that. If I don't have much to say about a movie, then I'll just let that be. I'm not gonna force like a 10 minute video or whatever. But Inception, the movie's great. It might be my favorite Nolan movie on this rewatch because it's damn good. You're in a dream. You fight in your dream. You fight with other people in that dream and possibly you might die if you don't get out of it mind bending shit it's great you also have a great cast dicaprio elliot page tom hardy killian murphy and like all the other characters they're good good side characters they're not just there for the sake of being there the scene with i think tom hardy and elliot page of them going down those stairs and whatnot and then the whole rotating boxing that everyone knows about dicaprio trying to get out and get back to his family that's what the whole movie is about of this money heist and there's been videos on youtube about that top thing where he spends it and if it doesn't stop he's in a dream and if it does he's not that's how he knows he's very fearful of that because he doesn't know what's real or not real and whatnot and then everyone's talking about the score that theme itself is great every time that airport scene of him going out seeing Elliot page seeing tom hardy seeing his team they're watching over him and then seeing his old man they're not known yet whether this is real or not but at the end it doesn't matter because he's with his family whether this is real or not that is all he's ever wanted i'm assuming that it's real it can't be fake right it can't not be real come on that spinning thing is just there kind of like a is it real or not no it's real come on now the cabra scared her. he deserves a happy ending right and if it is not then nolan's on some very uh dark sadistic maybe not sadistic but very cynical type shit right there but no i think it's good to assume that he didn't make it and it's real so inception is still great and that is it for what is this oh yeah that's right dicaprio's action flicks this is not a uh, great lot this might not even be a great video because two of these i couldn't care less about one of them was okay i do like and then obviously inception is great but i don't know this might be a tough one to get through because i wasn't really invested with the action flicks it was just kind of eh you know it's okay it's all right that's really it that's what this whole video is everything's okay except for inception but yeah that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching